So here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 4 in the University Blue colorway. Can you tell any differences between these two? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a comparison for you between two pairs of the Air Jordan 4 University Blues. So we have the fake pair on the left here and the retail pair on the right. And the retail pair was actually purchased from StockX because I didn't actually get lucky and win this pair on sneakers. So I had to pay resale for this and then obviously we'll just do a comparison to let you know what the differences are between a retail and fake pair and what to look for if you're trying to purchase a retail pair. But before we get into the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to Legitmark who are today's sponsor. Legitmark is the standard for sneaker authentication and is the safest place to get your sneakers authenticated. So if they're as close as these ones are, you're going to want to get them checked. So there's a link in the description to check them out. So here we have the two boxes and the retail one is on my right here and the fake one is on my left. The fake one is a little more damaged but that was because it was shipped. It did actually come double box but obviously it didn't seem to last the journey and this one came from StockX and seems to be in pretty good condition. In terms of colouring and the size there's literally no difference at all. The fake one looks a tiny bit smaller but that is because of the indentation. I think they are exactly the same size. What I would say is when looking from above at the actual Jordan logo on the top there really is no difference at all. Maybe the fake one is a slightly lighter blue but that is really difficult to tell even in studio lighting. If I spin the boxes around to the side and we take a look at the label, I'll give you a close up of this. We can see clear differences here. Obviously the fake one has gone for that classic US label because they always base their fakes off the US price tag. Whereas on the retail one, we have the UK label on the side and you can see a clear difference between the actual text on the shoe where it says UK nine and gives it all the different sizes such as the centimeters and the European size. You can see that this is much thicker on the fake one compared to the retail one. The retail one, all the text is much slimmer and more detailed. But that's pretty much it for the boxes themselves. The detailing all over the box is absolutely spot on. There is no difference here. So we'll open up the box and take a look at the shoes themselves. So open up the retail one. Obviously it does come with the StockX branding. They have changed their labels and stuff like that. So you can see a difference between retail and fakes when they come with the StockX branding. Take off the fake one. So in terms of the tissue paper itself, I would say that the speckles on the paper are much darker on the retail one compared to the fake one. But who's really going to check that? We'll open it up. So here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 4 in the University Blue colorway. Can you tell any differences between these two? So we'll just move the shoes to the side and take a closer look. So here are the two pairs and from first glance they don't actually look too bad. However, if you look closer there are still details to look for if you are trying to do a legit check. So the first thing to notice and it's very obvious in studio lighting is actually the color of the shoes. So if I give you a close up of this you can see the retail pair is a lighter university blue than the fake one. You can see this all over the suede. It's just a slightly lighter shade than the fake one and this is clear to see in the studio lighting. The next difference to note is if you take a look from above, and I'll give you a close-up of this, you can take a look at that toe box area. You can see that the shape on the retail one is much cleaner of a U compared to that of the fake one, which is a little bit wonky around the toe area. So you can see the shape of the retail and fake is slightly different. Once again, if you take a look at the shoe from the side, and I'll give you a close-up of this, you can see that the shape is very different as well. Both of these shoes are dead stock, so the shape should be incredibly similar. Spinning the shoe around to the back, taking a look at that Jordan logo on the heel, we can see differences in placement here and technically in size. 
So if we look at the retail one, I'll give you a close up of this. You can see the Jordan logo and its placement around the shoe compared to the blue suede. Whereas if you look at the fake one here, you can see that the Jordan logo is placed a little bit higher up and is slightly smaller and there's more of a gap between the, the logo itself and the blue suede. Looking on the outer side here, and if we take a look at this gray triangular cage here on the side, we can see differences between retail and fake. So if I give you a close up here, you can see that the gap in the middle of this cage system is much larger on the retail one comparing this to the fake. Looking at the side of the shoe and if we take a look at this almost mesh like cage material here in the blue we can see differences between retail and fake once again. So if I show you side by side you can see that this part of the cage material on the fake one is a much lighter blue than the actual university blue on the retail one which pretty much matches the suede all over the shoe. Spinning the shoe upside down and taking a look at the bottom there's absolutely no difference here at all. They've got the tread on the bottom and all the colors and patterns and everything like that absolutely spot on. So there's no difference here. When taking a closer look at the label on the tongue, we can see differences here once again. So if I give you a close up of this, if we look on the outer side, just above where it says Team 23, you can see there's a much bigger gap where it's black material on the fake one compared to the retail ones. And the outer edging of the label on the retail one is much thinner and equal all the way around compared to the fake one, which has a larger space for material at the top compared to around the rest of the label. What I do have to commend, however, is on the fake one, the stitching is incredibly well done. There's literally no flaws in terms of the stitching all the way around and the quality of the shoe feels very very good indeed. When looking through the side of the shoe at the air bubble on the bottom there's no difference here once again looking straight through it's absolutely identical from retail to fake. So as you can see from this video these shoes are incredibly close and without a close eye you could easily be fooled by this so that's why the authentication apps are out there so the link in the description for legit mark is there for you guys to use so if you are struggling to tell the difference between a retail and fake pair please do check them out as they are here to help you but yeah as you can see fakes are getting very close indeed there are still a few things to look for if you are trying to legit check them i hope this video has helped you please like subscribe do all that it really does help the channel grow it helps me do comparisons just like this but yeah, I hope it has helped you and thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.